It's Air Force Week here at West Point. So we'll start things off with the Black Knights hockey team as they take on the Falcons Friday and Saturday here at Tate Ring. Friday night's game's at 7 p.m. Saturday's game at 8 p.m. moved one hour back due to the football game across the street at Mikey Stadium. Usually these two teams meet later on in the season in February. In fact, these teams will meet again in February, but they're going to play four times this year, starting here at Tate Rink with two. Both these teams have very good goalies, and those goalies could be the key to this weekend. You know what? Um, I think last year in here, three goals give it up on the weekend. So uh, I think both goalies will have a lot to say uh, in what happens here this weekend. Um, it'll just be a matter of, of, each, of, of each of us trying to figure out a way um, how to score. And uh, that'll be hard to do with uh, both these guys in net. We'll continue with the Air Force trend as both the men's and women's rugby team take on the Falcons Friday night down at Anderson Rugby Complex. It's going to be the women first at 5 p.m. and then the men starting at 7 p.m. The women's team's coming off a bye week and after they played Navy two weekends ago as they're looking to continue the momentum against service academies. I think any time that you can actually just get team get players playing is going to be good for us. Um, each game is going to present its different, uh, significant different sort of challenges and stuff like that. This will have a different um, sense. It will almost be like a playoff game. It's Friday night here down at, Asp um, at Anderson. We've got a lot of people coming through. So I think playing in front of a big crowd is something that they need to get used to. The men's game, starting about two hours after the women's game down at Anderson, is going to feature two nationally ranked teams. Two years ago here at Anderson Rugby Complex, the Black Knights won a late contest over Air Force. Last year out in Colorado Springs, the Falcons were able to defeat the Black Knights. Army's coming off a big win against Wheeling Jesuit, another ranked team in the top 20 in the nation, as the Black Knights look to go to 8-1 and one on the fall season in their biggest game of the fall season. Yeah, Air Force is the most important game of our fall campaign. It's our number one goal to win this game, and uh, really critical that we do that. Uh, I think composure will be the primary factor, um, maybe even more so than execution. We expect a close contest, and we're going to need to keep our wits at the end of the day. Sticking with the Service Academy theme, we're going to go down to Annapolis, where it's Army and Navy in sprint football as they battle for the star. The Black Knights won the thrilling game last year here at West Point, 24-23 on the blocked extra point. Army's going to look to retain the Stars. They know that defense is going to be the key. Navy's got the number one offense in the league. The Black Knights got the number one defense. So something's got to give down in Annapolis. It's always uh, a great matchup whenever these two teams play. They're typically at the top of the league in, in a lot of categories, offensively, defensively. Uh, so for us, uh, it really boils down to execution. Uh, it's going to be a very physical game. Uh, you know, Both teams are going to be playing with high intensity level, obviously. So uh, it, it's a matter of execution. It's, uh, again, knowing what the game plan is and going out and executing that game plan to the best of your ability and, uh, you know, and making the fewest mistakes. So, uh, you know, that, again, that's what we're focusing on uh, you know, these last few practices. And uh, you know, my hope is that we'll uh, execute come Friday night. We'll move down to Gillis Fieldhouse where the Army volleyball team has two games. One against Lafayette on Friday night, and then the big rematch against Navy on Saturday night as the Black Knights are going to look for revenge against the midshipmen. Army knows that they need two wins to clinch a spot in the Patriot League tournament, and will look to do that this weekend against Lafayette and Navy. Um, I think the team is focused. I think the way we played American the second time around, uh, it was much better. So I see our team continue to fight, and uh, they know that Navy's going to come here fighting, and I know that the team is ready to compete much better this time around. Uh, they're ready, they're disciplined, they're focused, and you'll see a great game this weekend. The men's soccer team rounds out action at home at West Point this weekend as they take on Bucknell on senior night. Army's already clinched a spot in the Patriot League tournament, which will begin Tuesday for them. The only question for the Black Knights, is it going to be a home matchup or is it going to be an away matchup? One point, a tie against Bucknell, or three points, a win against Bucknell on Saturday night would guarantee them a home quarterfinal matchup in the Patriot League tournament. The biggest, um, the most important piece is making sure that, that we've, we approach this game as if, um, you know, it is a playoff game. Um, in a lot of respects, it is in terms of what we are playing for. Um, you know, we have a chance to, to finish as, as high as third place, which would be our highest finish in four years, um, secure home field advantage and all, those, all the benefits that come with that, travel, home, uh, home facilities, all those kind of things. So this is a massive game for us. Uh, also senior night, and this is the, you know, the probably winningest senior group we've had in almost two decades. Um, 
and uh, and and we want to make sure that we send them off correctly, and they want to make sure that they represent in their final regular season home game. The Army swimming team, men's and women's, will hit the pool on Friday night as they take on two Ivy Leagues, Penn and Columbia. Last year, Army was able to defeat a very good Columbia team for the first time in almost 20 years and will look to continue that success against the Lions. Penn's a team that Army has never seen before and will use this as their tune-up with Navy just a few weeks away. Our expectation is just that we're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to work hard. We're going to fight through it. We're going to... Uh just make sure that we're at our best in, in every way. Um, I really like this team, both the men's side and the women's side. I think they're, they've been willing to do things that, that some of the recent teams haven't really gotten into, like our practices on Friday nights and lifting weights going into Saturday afternoons and, and some of the, the commitment and effort and consistency that we need to be successful. Love the rivalry with, with Columbia. I think last year was the first time we beat them in about 20 years. And, and, um, and we've had some, some close meets, and, and we've been chipping away. And, and, um, and I expect this weekend will be more of the same, you know, with, with Columbia certainly. Um, we haven't raced Penn before, so I don't have a good sense of, of who they are, certainly as a dual meet team. But um, I, I anticipate it'll be a lot like Yale and um, it'll come down to the end and, and give us a lot of great racing and, and great opportunities. And, and I'm proud of where we're at. Um, we're balanced. We've got some depth. We've got some talent. We've got good leadership. Our plebes have a, a, an important role, and um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Both the men's side and the women's side, I think, are much improved. In action on the road this weekend, it's the Army Rifle Team out in Colorado Springs in the President's Trophy matchup against the other service academies. Air Force is the defending champion, and that Army finished second last year here at West Point. That's going to do it for your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Zach Daly.